Mary? The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Well, cooler weather is here, so kids are playing indoors more often, and we want to make sure our homes are safe. We have Jessica Strong here. She's the Community Outreach Manager at Primary Children's Hospital, and you kind of have a fall safety checklist. Yeah, we like to think about it as you're walking through your home, the different rooms and what to think about in each room. So okay. when you first walk in your home in the living room, some things to think about safety-wise. Make sure that you have furniture bumpers around coffee tables, anything with sharp edges. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that you have anchor um, locks on furniture that could tip over, so like a TV right. or a bookcase, maybe an armoire, those heavy things that could potentially fall on a child. They don't always come with those anchor locks. They don't. They're really expensive or inexpensive, right. excuse me, to buy after the fact. And you can buy them at many stores, but they really are very valuable. Well, they've, we've heard about a TV set falling over on a, on a child and they can be really dangerous. Absolutely. Okay. And it's a really quick fix um, that you mm -hmm. can do to help keep your kids safe. Okay. What about when we get into the kitchen? Yeah. So in the kitchen and bathroom, an important thing to think about is the water temperature in your home. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend that you turn the water temperature down to 120 degrees Fahrenheit on your um, water heater mm -hmm. um, to help prevent any burns or scalds either in the bath or um, in the sinks, things like that. Mm -hmm. Another thing to keep in mind in the kitchen is making sure your knives are stored in a safe location up away from kids. And as you're cooking on the stove, turn the handles back away right. from um, the kitchen area so kids don't grab those and pull That's them on top a good of habit. each other. And the kitchen and bathroom both also could have chemicals, things Absolutely. with dangerous chemicals. Yes, so be aware of those things. Make sure that those are stored and locked uh, up. Make sure they're stored in original containers mm -hmm. so kids don't mix up, you know, things like apple juice and pledge or something right. like that. Those look alike. Okay, and bedrooms, maybe guns. Yes, absolutely. We recommend that guns stay locked up, um, ammunition separate. And the other thing we think about um, in the fall is as nights are cooler, mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure your kids are sleeping warm enough. Um, oh, if you have an infant point. in a crib, um, we recommend that you put them in a sleep sack rather than lots of extra blankets. Um, those things can, pop, can pose suffocation hazards, right. so extra pillows, blankets, stuffed animals, take okay. those out. There's a really long list. There's even more <laughs> we could talk about, but we're out of time. Thanks so much. Thank if you, you ever have any questions about safety, you can always go to our website, KUTV.com, and click on the Baby or Baby link. Thank you so much. Thank you.